Good day, beloved of Christ. Welcome to prayer for August the 29th, Monday. Today is a red-letter day, a holy day, kind of a grisly remembrance today, the beheading of St. John the Baptist, reading from For All the Saints. The Gospel according to Mark tells us that John the Baptist was thrown into prison because he had offended King Herod and his wife Herodias. No harm came to him until Herodias exploited a frivolous vow which the king made during a banquet. And then, to preserve his own honor, Herod ordered John to be beheaded. In Mark's account, this story is designed to present a stark contrast. While Herod feasted with his friends in wanton luxury, John languished in prison because of his steadfast witness to the word and to the justice of God. And though Herod knew that John was holy and a righteous man, and even heard him gladly, yet Herod condemned the prophet to death, rather than dishonor a drunken vow. Like the voices of the proud, quoted in the ancient psalm, Herod could say, With our tongue will we prevail, our lips are our own, who is Lord over us? But the psalm also foresaw a day when the voices of the proud would be stopped by the justice of God. Because the needy are oppressed and the poor cry out in misery, I will rise up, says the Lord, and give them the help they long for. So it was that Mark set the story of John's death in the context of what Jesus was doing, how Jesus was fulfilling the prophecy of John, not only by preaching the gospel of repentance, but also by deeds which revealed the power and righteousness of God. When Herod learned all of these things, he was seized with anxiety. Having misused his power to behead John, he now knew that John was vindicated and heard the death knell of his own sovereignty in the life of and mission of Jesus of Nazareth. Let us pray. Almighty God, who called John the Baptist to give witness to the coming of your Son and to prepare his way, strengthen us by your grace, that, as he suffered for the truth, so may we boldly resist corruption and sin, and receive with him the unfading crown of glory through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord is blessed in the lives of his saints. O come, let us worship. Selected verses from Psalm 102 today, a psalm chosen because it could be the prayer of John the Baptist. Lord, hear my prayer. Let my cry come before you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my trouble. Incline your ear to me when I call. Make haste to answer me. For my days drift away like smoke, and my bones are hot as burning coals. My heart is smitten like grass and withered, so that I forget to eat my bread. Because of the voice of my groaning, I am but skin and bones." I have become like a vulture in the wilderness, like an owl among the ruins. I lie awake and groan. I am like a sparrow, lonely on a housetop. My enemies revile me all the day long, and those who scoff at me have taken an oath against me. For I have eaten ashes for bread, and mingled my drink with weeping. Because of your indignation and wrath, you have lifted me up and thrown me away. My days pass away like a shadow, and I wither like the grass. But you, O Lord, endure forever, and your name from age to age. You shall arise and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to have mercy upon her. Indeed, the appointed time has come. In the beginning, O Lord, you laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They shall perish, but you will endure. They all shall wear out like a garment. As clothing you will change them, and they shall be changed. But you are always the same, and your years will never end. The children of your servants shall continue, and their offspring shall stand fast in your sight. Let us pray. God of unchanging mercy, 
Look with compassion upon all who suffer, the sick and the friendless, the homeless and the captive, the weary and the depressed. Be present to them in the power of your healing love. Give them health, comfort, and hope, and bring them to share in the life of your risen Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Together, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. To catch up on our reading from the weekend, we will read selections from chapters 9, 10, and 11. Here we have Job responding to Bildad, and then we will hear from Job's other friend, Zophar. Job responds, Yes, I've heard all that before, but how can a man win his case against God? I am tired of living. Listen to my bitter complaint. Don't condemn me, God. Tell me, what is the charge against me? Is it right for you to be so cruel, to despise what you yourself have made, and then to smile on the schemes of wicked men? Do you see things as we do? Is your life as short as ours? Then why do you track down all my sins and hunt down every fault I have? You know that I am not guilty, that no one can save me from you. Your hands formed and shaped me, and now those same hands destroy me. Remember that you have made me from clay. Are you going to crush me back to dust? You gave my father strength to beget me. You made me grow up in my mother's womb. And now Zophar responds to Job. Will no one answer all this nonsense? Does talking so much put a man in the right Job, do you think we can't answer you, that your mocking words will leave us speechless? You claim that what you say is true. You claim you are pure in the sight of God. How I wish God would answer you. He would tell you there are many sides to wisdom. There are things too deep for human knowledge. God is punishing you less than you deserve. Can you discover the limits and bounds of the greatness and power of God? The sky is no limit for God but it lies beyond your reach. God knows the world of the dead, but you do not know it. God's greatness is broader than the earth, wider than the sea. Put your heart right, Job. Reach out to God. Put away evil and wrong from your home. Then face the world again, firm and courageous. Then all your troubles will fade from your memory. Like floods that are past and remembered no more, your life will be brighter than sunshine at noon, and life's darkest hours will shine like the dawn. You will live secure and full of hope. God will protect you and give you rest. You won't be afraid of your enemies. Many people will ask you for help. But the wicked will look round in despair and find that there is no way to escape. Their one hope is that death will come. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. I always find remarkable the integrity of Job and his conviction that he is innocent. He has done nothing wrong before the Lord. He is a tragic victim of the testing of God, of the trial of God, the trial by fire. And yet, Job is strong in his convictions. Also strong are Job's friends. Zophar here, especially now bringing accusation against Job, that Job need be more humble, recognizing God's power, might, and sovereignty, recognizing that he himself, Job, is a sinner. Zophar holds out before Job the possibility of repentance and restoration through God's mercy. He says, should you put your heart right, Job, your life will be brighter than sunshine at noon, and life's darkest hours will shine like the dawn. You will live secure and full of hope. God will protect you and give you rest. Zophar holds out the word of grace for Job in a time of dark need. May this hope burn brightly in our lives as well. Amen. Turning now toward intercessions, I encourage you to pause the recording at any time to 
include your own thanksgivings and intercessions. Let us pray with confidence to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. O Lord, guard and direct your church in the way of unity, service, and praise. Lord, hear our prayer. Give to all nations an awareness of the unity of the human family. Lord, hear our prayer. Cleanse our hearts of prejudice and selfishness, and inspire us to hunger and thirst for what is right. Lord, hear our prayer. Teach us to use your creation for your greater praise, that all may share the good things you provide. Lord, hear our prayer. Strengthen all who give their energy or skill for the healing of those who are sick in body or in mind. Lord, this day we pray for Severius, for Gwen, for Judy, for Rose, for Laura, for Brian, Richard, and Ricardo. Lord, hear our prayer. Set free all who are bound by fear and despair for those who struggle with mental darkness. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant a peaceful end and eternal rest to all who are dying and your comfort to those who mourn. Lord, hear our prayer. Gathering our prayers, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Beloved, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. And now may the peace of God, which passes understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon you and all that you love this day and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day today, Monday.